Yo, you know Mulan, right? Who? Mulan. That's my cousin. He look like the head captain that she fall in love with. He look like the head captain. But anyways, what's good? It's your boy B Aftermath. It's bright. Man, somebody said I'm light skinned, man. Don't disrespect me like that ever again. I'm red. I am a red. I am a red squirrel. Okay? Looking forward, nut. But this video is sponsored by G Fuel. All right, 33% off right now. Don't miss it. Get it right now. Link it in the description. Help your boy out. Yo, check out this sugar free, okay, energizing powder. Y'all watch Marlon West? Mm, yes. Mm, yes. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to have some chest today, man. I'm going to give you guys three awesome exercises for you to develop a great bench press to get your strength up, gamer to gainers. And uh, we still got that going on, going strong. You guys are liking it. I wish you did better. Let's get to it. Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. So, the floor press, a staple in my strength training, especially when it comes to saving the shoulders from a lot of, you know, pushback. Tight shoulders, impingements, things like that. What this does is it pretty much keeps your range of motion nowhere below 90 degrees. You get to a perfect 90 degrees in the elbows and your placement, and it allows you to understand how to use the triceps and not so much of that pull outside front delt um, feeling that you get when you're trying to train chest for bodybuilding. When you're trying to train chest for strength, it's a different type of movement. You know, you're still doing the press, but the focus is not to build the chest anymore. It's just to push as much weight as possible and understand that like there are certain times where it's about pushing as much weight as possible and then other times it's about really developing the chest. So. I'm gonna do four presses. I actually go pretty heavy on these. We'll probably go between four to 500 uh, for myself and about three reps uh, in the three rep range. I think I'm on my three set to three right now and my uh, little chest training. So when they warm up, get to above five, well, 400 and that's when the real set starts. So my grip on uh, majority of all my strength lifts is thumbs length from the grid and the solid. That's my main grip on all of my, you know, pressing, on all of my pressing period. You know, not out here, just right here. I like it rather medium distance and kind of outside of shoulder width and uh, that's where I'm comfortable. <laughs> I understand how my, I'm trying to keep my elbows in and not flare it out, keeping it here, right here. Like I said before in other videos, this is a power position right here. You're losing power and the more you come out here, right? You want everything compact. And when things are compact, you put, you can, you have to think less about where the load is going. So I already know everything is going right here rather than spreading it out and it becomes weaker. You want to be compact. Oh, that's what I'm saying. 
Chest strength development is honestly fairly simple. It's those, and I feel like those who concentrate on too much work are the ones that don't see enough progress. When I say too much work is, I mean, you know, volume, you know, recovery time, right? When I really want to focus on my strength stuff, that is literally all I do. I do my strength stuff, I'm done. Go to my next exercise. You know, right now I've been kind of going a little bit everywhere with the, with the strength and the, a little bit of volume stuff. Um, and then, it's, and that's why I haven't deadlifted or like squat or like those things, these things are not as in cycle as they used to be where it would just be like, all right, this is bench day, max bench day, max squat day, max deadlift day. Well, not max, but like heavy, heavy, heavy. And it's not like that anymore. It's just like, all right, I'll come in and I'll do this, have a couple of workouts, then I'll do this heavy, have a couple of workouts, and I'll do this heavy. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very spread out right now. Uh, and it shouldn't be because I have the strength thing uh, coming up. So I'm kind of getting back into it, but uh, you'll see some deadlift videos coming up. I just haven't been in an environment to like deadlift. I haven't been in like a, I don't know, I'm being such a, a diva right now because I'm just, I'm not in a heavy lifting environment. And I realized like, yo, it just, it, that helps because I mean, I'm gonna be totally honest, anybody in this fucking gym lifting heavy but me. There ain't nobody that come here that lift heavy but me. And even on top of that, it's, that's not even like built to lift heavy. It's like inconvenient trying to get all these plates together, especially deadlift, bro. You know how many plates I got put up for deadlift? You know how many plates I have to put away? Put on and then put away to deadlift. I ain't trying to deal with that, you know what I'm saying? Am I lazy? Yes. Yes, I am. Shit. Second deadlift put away applications. Link in the description. You better shut your mouth. You don't really need a spotter for these, but I want some lift offs. That's, the, that's what's good about it. Unless you're big and you got a big ass belly, then you kind of fucked. But if you ain't got no spotter, you just don't get it. You just drop that drink and it should be higher than your stomach. I need a spot. If it, if it falls, it doesn't matter. I'm good. But I just need a lift off. You sure you got me? Yeah. You sure? Two, three. Uh. You good, you good, you can leave it. Uh. Two. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Read the hoodie. <laughs> don't touch it, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it. Read the hoodie. Don't touch the bar. Speaking of the hoodie, make sure you grab the Don't Touch merch. Link in the description, Alpha Clothing, you already know. This is mine right here, an Alpha Clothing collab. So grab these joints. I promise you, max effort every time you got the hoodies on. We got these in gray, we got them in black. We got some tees also, just in case you don't want to wear a hoodie. So please support your boy, grab these bad boys. And uh, I got a full merch brand coming out. Not stuff like this. This is what everybody asks for, the don't touch, like, yo, make don't touch tees and stuff. But I'm gonna make like some dope merch, man. And um, some stuff y'all can rock, just period. Clean, very clean design. None of this, like, this is crazy design to me. I just want like a solid, clean slate look, you know. It's crazy, bro. Have you ever listened to a song from a rapper? And then you listen to like a very old song and then you realize them lyrics came from that song. You ever had that? Bro, I'd be finding out that with Lil Wayne, with Drake, pretty much everybody from Cash Money. That's crazy. People blow up from other people's shit. That's crazy. I had, a, I had an idea. You know what's crazy? I'm gonna stop sharing my ideas with friends, or friends, because I had an idea, and I shared that joint. Next thing you know, him and his girl do it, the idea that I had, because it required a girl. I'm just like, that's cold. That's, that's kind of that's fucked up, I ain't even gonna lie. That's kind of some fucked up shit, you know? And it's even worse when they do it good. It's like, fuck, it's like, damn, now nah, I gotta like, and then people gonna think I'm copying them now. 
So I'm like, damn. So word of advice, don't trust your ideas to random friends. So we got 425 on the bar, which is about that three rep range for me. So we got one set, got two more sets of this. I might go for it to look a single heavy just to like throw on the thumbnail, but Absol Kendrick. Like, <laughs> I was trying to get a PlayStation tattoo. I was about to get the bins right here. Triangle square XO. It's going, we're going to stop at 25. Well, I haven't been heavy since Kansas City. Yo, my, my client, so I trade, I don't know if y'all know Corey, I think Schurer, Schurer, uh, big time YouTuber, whatever. He dancer, he's danced for Chris Brown, like all of that, whatever. We had two sessions, and he can never recover enough. <laughs> we're supposed to be training every other day. He can never recover enough <laughs> to come back to come back for the other day. <laughs> we're supposed to train today at 12, bro. He like, hey, bro, my legs, my legs are dead. I can't move. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said, hey, if you plan on performing, make sure you tell me a week in advance. Because <laughs> if we train, you're not going to be able to. You're going to be like. <laughs> Yo, and I'm not trying to be the reason that shit happens. So that being said, yeah. But if you want personal training, Teron, T-E-R-R-O-N, 2311 at gmail.com. I'm starting back up my online training. Been doing a few projects as to why I stopped it and uh, bringing everybody back. Also, in-person training one-on-one -on -one here at No Limit or at Muscle Farm Gym. Hit me up if you're in L.A. area. I will not travel any farther than 10 miles <laughs> so i prefer for you to come here to noho um unless it's worth it i'll travel out to you but i gotta be worth it i'm supposed to train yg yeah so hopefully that happens yeah. <laughs> better than I expected. So that was only 455. Uh, but we getting up there. We getting up there. 455 with that pause, you know what I'm saying? No, no bounce. That's the thing, that's what's great about the floor press because when you get in a regular bench, when you floor press, this is where you stop right here. And those triceps make contact with the ground. So you see what the, what the bar is? It's literally about half. Full length, half, all the way down, right? But think about think about the chest expansion. You're opening that chest. The chest is is stretching, right? Well, just like when you stretch a band, when you stretch a, a rubber band or something, you're stretching, and you know if you let that rubber band go, it snaps. You know, snaps back together. And that's kind of the process, the mind of thought that we're trying to get with a, a full bench. So when you're coming all the way back, you're getting that stretch. And your, your chest is already, your, your muscles are already preparing to push back because naturally it doesn't want to be in this position. So therefore, like even without me trying, it, it already wants to come back up this way. So you're intentionally, you're already coming into a position where you're just gonna boom, push that back. Right here, you're not there yet. Out here, down here, you are. So right here, you're taking out that band effect that helps you push weight. And that's what's good about the positioning of a floor press. Boom, boom, boom. So that's one exercise you guys should be adding into your routine. Floor press, one. All right, so what I've just set up right now is the reverse bench. Now the reason for this is pretty much what I told you about the, the band effect. When you're pulling right here, you want that strong pull to be able to just really forcefully push back. Now you're working the opposite direction of the bench. Just add a little bit more because of my grip. Pulling down. Boom. Speed, work your speed up. Four for 12 reps. Well, 
and boom. Do this for about four sets. Four to five sets, 12 reps. Squeeze, hold that contraction. One, two, up. One, two, up. The video. I've been getting good feedback for the headphones, the uh, Outlier Gold, if you've been saying, I've been saying it wrong, from Creative Labs. You can get 10% off the code AFTERMATH. Uh, link in the description as well. So if you need some really good headphones, these are not bullshit headphones. I really vouch for these headphones. Uh, like seriously, I know I like to wear Beats uh, just because I've worn Beats forever. And uh, I have a Beats like the, the Beats skin sponsor thingy. So, um, you know, I show those off with those. But with these, these are very good. Noise count, cancellation, headphones, very loud. And you will not regret it, I promise you. Like I said, if you think they are trash, please let me know and come to me. All right, like say, hey, these are trash. And then I'm gonna find you somebody else that's gonna be like, yo, these are bomb as fuck, because they are. Let's get it. Put your arms in position, squeeze the lats. Extension, full extension, Four. come down. Boom. Four. Five, your lats should be firing like crazy with this. Six. Last up for you guys, the supinated grip rear delt flies. Now, what that means is instead of having the grip like this, if you go out like this, palms up. Now you need to work on those supporting muscles for the bench. And those supporting muscles is from the push into the pull of the exercise, right? So. What we just worked on is another pull exercise that's really great for firing up those muscles, just as this one is. But this one really hits those areas a lot more. And also, this is just gonna save your shoulders from rounding out. A lot of people get that bencher's chest or whatever, when those shoulders come up forward like this and they're tight, and you're like this, you can barely raise your arms. We you want to kind of go against that and really work on strengthening the backside as well. And that's a lot of things, a lot of people forget about that. Right, and that's what's gonna help further strengthen uh, your chest, you know? That range of motion and still keep that range of motion and still stay healthy is you have to work both sides evenly. And I know a lot of us probably do not work the areas in our muscles um, we need to in order for us to stay balanced. I'm gonna take this off real quick so you guys see. So, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys take these tips um, in consideration. Uh, these will be things added into my Ultimate Athlete 3.0. Um, and it's not a powerlifting program, it's not a bodybuilding, it's strength and conditioning. So you will get strong, and you will be conditioned, build lean muscle, you still burn fat, yes. So there will be some fluctuations and some things, but in all, at the end of it, you will be on top of your game. Uh, that being said, come to my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. Also for online coaching and coaching in person, one-on-one -on -one here in North Hollywood. Hit me up at Teron, T-E-R-R-O-N, 2311 at gmail.com. Catch you guys later, and uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. I cannot let go Bitch, you did me wrong Now a nigga money looking long New bitch, I she look like me alone